Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use entity view attachment module, okay? So uh, this module helps us to attach a view inside your entity. So let's see how to do this, okay? So for that, first we need to download this module. So I'm going to download it. Composer require Drupal slash image. So now module downloaded successfully. Go to your website and go to extend. And here I'm going to enable that module EVA. It's entity view attachment, okay? Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to the content type of article manage field and also uh, basic field, okay, basic page. So I'm going to add a common field here is that like a list text. So this is for, let's say this is called category. Okay, and save and continue. And here I am going to give allowed values as A, B. So actually uh, in view, you can pass an argument. So to showcase that feature, I'm, I'm adding this new field to both the content types. So I'm going to save it. And in the basic page also, I'm going to add the same field, okay? And that is a category field. This is what the category field and save and save here too. Now we saved the field in both content type, content. Okay. So let's go to content and create some content. Okay. There is no content available. So we're going to create content for article and also the basic page. So in article, I'm going to mention article content with cat. Category A, okay, so A. These are not mandatory, so I'm not going to give value for those. So A, save, and here, BP content, basic page content with category A. Okay, so let's create one for article again with B category. So it's a B and that is article. I'm going to select here B and I'm saving. And in this basic page also gonna create with the B category. So BP. So here, going to select B. And now we saved uh, four content with the two A category and two B category and two article and two basic page. Okay, so I am going to insert basic page inside your article content. For that, first we need to create a view. So it's EVA view. So I'm going to create it for the basic page, okay? Because we are going to attach basic page inside your article. So create page and save here. So you need to attach a EVA now. So we created new display with EVA. So that is the view name is EVA view, okay? And here, I'm going to make it available for this node. Okay, you can apply for any. You can apply for files or users or whatever taxonomy terms that you wish. And bundle, I'm going to make it available only for the article. Okay. And the argument, and for argument, I will tell you at the end. So let's finish all. So show title. So... Mm, that's it. Let's save it. 
and now we will see the argument okay so in argument by default it is passing the id right so when you want to pass your extra fields which is available in your content type you need to enable a module called token so let's download that module that is composer require drupal slash token So let's go to extend and check. Here, token. So I'm going to enable this module. Okay, now token module is enabled, right? So let's go to your view. Click on argument again and use this use token from the entity view is attached to. Okay, so let's click on the browse available token. So here I'm going to open the node entity and here there is a field called that is category, right? Okay, this is what category and I'm going to pass that value as an argument to this view. Okay, so I'm going to mention that here. Take a value from this variable okay and also you need to make sure this variable this variable is printing in your managed display okay apply this display and next one is once you pass the argument you need to mention right what type of condition it should be get added to your view so for that you need to add it in the contextual filter and the field is category so when there is no filter available, I'm going to display all. If there is something, it will uh, filter based on those. Okay. So now we saved the EV content. Sorry, EV view. So once you uh, saved it, when you go to article manage display and uh, scroll down, so you can see the view is available here, right? So automatically the view is attached to this particular display of your article. Okay. So after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to view the contents so that we can see whether it is working or not and how it is working. So I'm going to see the article page. So this is the article page. So you can see there is a teaser view of BB is coming here, right? This is a article with the article content with category B. BP content with the BP. Okay, let's create one more content and showcase. And before that, we'll see here to see BP content with the BP category. A. So, okay, the based on the category, the uh, view is getting updated here. So, let's create one more content and see how it is working. Okay. And I'm going to create it for, okay. BP content with the category B. B1, let's keep it B1. Okay. And the category is, sorry, it's B and saving it. So once you save it and refresh here, you can see, right, the B1. This is the description. I copy pasted, so the same style is coming here too. So this is how the entity view attachment module is working. Okay. And that's it about today's session. I hope everyone likes it. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.